This is The Confidence Show with Mr. Locario and Miles Cunningham. In The Confidence Show, we're talking about confidence, happiness, success, purpose, and achieving your goals. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And remember, the truth is inside you. Yo, yo, what up, what up, what's poppin', what's going on? You have tuned into The Confidence Show with Mr. Locario and Miles Cunningham. Miles, what up? What's going on? Oh, man. Chilling, man. Chilling, chilling, chilling. And yeah. you know what? I'm going I'm to I'm keep it all the way real, you know, because sometimes we act like confidence is just something, mm. you, you know, we, we just get by accident. But um, I'm working. I'm working on my confidence. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, Day-to-day, right. every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing I'm doing different things, working on myself, mm. uh, getting getting closer to that, to that like, um, to that, person that I that I really want to be. You see right, what I'm saying? Right. And with that with that, as I do that, my confidence grows constantly. So yeah man, that's what I'm doing. What's 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 going on with you? Yeah man, I'm chilling. Chilling, you know, just uh out here, you know, understanding the world day by day, man. Just taking it all in pause. You feel what I'm saying? So <laughs> I'm just trying to <laughs> just <laughs> just you know just trying to accept things for how they are, man. You know what I'm saying? Get a Stop stop trying to deal with everything with my ego, man. That shit is hard as fuck. You know what I'm saying? That shit is like it's a it's a journey, people. You feel what I'm saying? But but today we wanted to talk about why people complain all the time or why people love to complain all the time. You know what I'm saying? And you know what gave me this idea is because the other day I was out at this event and I was talking to some people and I think like the people that I was the people that I was that I was talking to it was like it was like three or four people and I think they all they all work together like they all work at some company or whatever right and so uh-huh. I'm listening to them like you know we was having a conversation but just a regular conversation but then at a certain point they started talking about work and they started like all of them started complaining about like the, the you know the boss and then this thing happened and then that thing happened and what I noticed was there was like this, almost like this bonding with the complaining. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, right. it's like they felt good to, to sort of like complain about those things. And it it just, it like, it was like, you know, it was almost like they felt proud of the complaining. Like it was just weird. It was like they were, they were, cause in my mind, I'm like, you know, why are you even, you know, sweating all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, right, fuck right. All that. you know what I'm saying? Like, why are you even bothering to make it a, a, a big deal? But it was like, everything was a big deal. Everything was fucked up and, oh, this shouldn't be this way. And why does it have to be? And, and the thing is, what, what I noticed is that I think a lot of people like to complain. Cause when I, one, it's like, you know, it's, it's, I guess it relieves that stress of, you know, um, whatever they're thinking, you know what I'm saying? They just want to like, kind of get it out there and, and talk about it. Cause it's on their mind or whatever. Right. Um, but at the same time, I think what happens is that a lot of times when you complain so much, it it gets you in a, in, in sort of a habit of doing that all the time. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and making that like the default type of, you know, energy that you have when it comes to like dealing with things and dealing with your life. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so, mm-hmm. and so, and sometimes like, you know, what I'll do sometimes too is that I, sometimes I catch myself complaining, like, and I'm conscious of, I'm like, oh shit, like, why am I even like complaining about the situation like that? You know what I mean? And the thing is too, sometimes that I notice that a lot of times we'll complain about things, but the reason why we're complaining is because we're not really necessarily grateful uh, for certain mm-hmm. situations. You understand? Like even the other day, um, <laughs> I was talking to this chick and I said to her, I was like, yo, um, I was like, yeah, let's hang out again. I was like, I could, you know, I could uh, meet you probably Saturday or something. Right. And it was, it was like a, a Friday night and I said, I could meet you probably next Saturday. Right. So mm-hmm. instead of her being grateful, that I said, hey, I can meet you next Saturday. She says to me, she's like, oh, so I got to wait a whole week to see you? You know what I'm saying? Like, so she's complaining, <laughs> right. you know, that that she has to wait a whole week versus being grateful that she's going to see me in a week. You see what I'm saying? Right. And so that's the thing where it's like, a, a lot of times people will complain, 
but it's because they're they're not being grateful for certain things, which is why the complaints come in. Because those same people that was complaining about things at their job, you understand? Like, if you flip it around, you could be like, well, be grateful that you actually have a job to even complain about. You feel what I'm saying? Like, right. That's the thing. And I think... And I think a lot of times when you when you flip it that way, where you're more, when you're grateful, I think a lot of times the the complaining subsides. You understand it? It, it, get, it becomes mm-hmm. less and less because you start to be grateful for for certain things you have. And, and it's like I started to I started to try to do that more to just be grateful for every everything. Like it could be the littlest things, it could be the biggest things. You know what I'm saying? It's just like just being grateful for those things because it's it's so easy to complain because what happens is is that a lot of times we're so comfortable in our situation that we get sort of complacent and take things for granted. And a lot of times what happens is because you're so comfortable, you don't you don't recognize all the good things. Cause I, I did a video a while ago on the on the motivation channel where I was saying, I think I titled it like um this is how you should treat nice people. And what I was saying was I noticed that in life people will sort of complain and, and, and bitch and moan about, let's say a person they don't like or a person that quote unquote did them wrong or some shit or, or, you know, said something fucked up to them or whatever, any, anything it is, they'll spend like a whole hour talking shit about that person. You understand what I'm saying? But I never hear someone spend a whole hour talking about someone who did good to, you know, by them. You understand what I'm saying? Or, you know, then you never hear them say, oh, so-and-so is so cool to me and we had such a great time doing this. And, and you know, this person's always like, you know, upbeat and positive and this person always comes on time. And like, you never hear someone like going off for a half an hour, hour on praising and being appreciative of something good. It's always something that's fucked up. You understand what I'm saying? And so right. the thing is, I feel like, you know, being more grateful in a sense, a lot of times it, um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a more beneficial feeling to you than just complaining all the time because the complaining a lot of times, even though it seems at the time where it's like, you're getting shit off your chest, you're still constantly talking about something that is unpleasant and negative And you're just reinforcing how you're not like you're, that. You're not really, you know, feeling good at that moment. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, right. but what's, what's your thoughts on all that, that shit? Man, well, the thing, the thing with me and complaining is, I mean, I, com- I complain too. You know, it's, right. it's crazy because it's something that we're all guilty of. Right, in, right. In, in, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because sometimes you complain and, you know, you... You know, you're you're in the midst of a, a negative situation or, or something that you think is negative. Like for for example, the other day I was at the movies mm-hmm. and we I was in okay, I right, you know how how you have that row where there's like the barricade, like the mm-hmm. the wall. Right. And then you have that first row of seats. Right. Right? Now, so that means it's the first row of seats, so anybody coming in can easily walk in the aisle which is on the other side of that wall mm. and go around to the seats. Now, the, the I'm sitting in the middle, basically in the middle. On the left side of me, all the seats are filled. And on the right side, all the seats are empty, right? Right. right. Now, logically speaking, if I'm coming into the movie theater, right? Mm. And I see and I see that situation and I see all the I'm going to first I'm the type of person I am. First I'm going to look, okay? Mm. Because if all the seats on the other side are empty, that means to get to my seat, I don't have to bother nobody. Right. You understand? Right. I don't have to bump into nobody. Nobody's shoes got to touch my, my pants and all that type of shit. You feel me? Mm. So I'm going to walk on the other side of the barricade in the aisle and go around to the side where all the empty seats are so I don't have to bump into nobody. Right. This couple, a man and a woman, their seats... <laughs> and I know this because this, after they did all of this shit, they did. They sat all the way on the other side, on the right side. Mm. But they walked through. They instead of just walking, the aisle is right there. We're in the first row away from the aisle, so you can walk in the aisle, bro. Right. They walked through the the through the area on the other side, not in the aisle, but on the other side where the seats are, and and fucking bothered everybody to walk through.